Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. I paused there for a minute because I really forgot what day it was. Um, I kind of always do. I don't know what day of the week it is. Hopefully, everybody else is like that, too. Um, but good evening. Hopefully, everybody's had a good day. I didn't really get a whole lot accomplished today, and that's okay. I did get some organizing done and some labeling. I am definitely a labeling queen today, and I did a little bit yesterday too, but not very much. Hopefully tomorrow and Sunday I can get some more labeling done. Um, but Saturday is our bingo event, and I'm super excited. The order should be here tomorrow. Um, I have a few doctor's appointments actually all day long, so I won't be home to get the package, but it should be arriving any day, anytime now. Super excited. Good evening, Teresa. Welcome. So if you saw my post on Facebook earlier today, um, make sure you are sitting down because this set is spectacular. And it's really not even a set. Um, I'm going to be playing with the new masks that we have. Um, I am, we're going to create the card that I'm going to show you guys. And then I have made something definitely like over the top spectacular. I think it is anyways, hopefully you guys do as well. Um, good evening, Darlene and Melinda. Good evening. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, so definitely stay tuned until we get closer to the end so I can show you guys the thing that is probably going to like knock you out of your chair. It almost knocked me out of my chair anyways. Okay, let's point you over so we can get started. So we can officially, oh, that's a little bright, sorry about that. So we can officially start showing the inside of the catalogs. I am just gonna make sure we are live and there it is. So we are allowed to flip through the catalog on our lives now. So I'm so excited. Hopefully everybody has gotten theirs. It is spectacular. Everything in this catalog I want in my hot little hands but I can't have all of it. So hopefully you guys have had time to play with it. I should have marked um, what page it was on where the masks were and I did it. I think it's, oh, here it is. Page 47, um, the Abundantly Beauty Decorative Masks. And this is what we're gonna be playing with. These are some of the samples that they have done with the set. Um, I did pull in the translucent florals um, just for my sentiment, and I'll show you guys that in a second. But it is really definitely a wow project, and it is so easy, and that's what I love about it. Okay, let me bring in the masks. So I don't know. Let's see if, oh, I have this so you guys can see what it looks like. So when I first opened these, um, my upline Heather and I were sitting together and I was like, oh my gosh, they have ghosts in there because the Bags to the Bone designer series paper, the ghosts look just like this. And she laughed at me. She's like, no, honey, those aren't ghosts, but I guess, it, or bats. I guess if you want to call them bats, they could be bats too. But I guess this is a hound's too. But so fun. I haven't played with this one yet. Um, then we have some snowflakes. So cute. And this one, oh, I literally cannot wait to do all of these in different colors to make such a beautiful fall card. And then we have these guys that all layer together. I know it's kind of hard to see, but all of these layer on top of each other to create, do you want to see what it creates? Something spectacular. So at first I... Um, played with this, I, I don't know how to say it. So I played with this a different version, a different way earlier. And then I was like, oh, that is so cool. But I think it might be too much to do on a live. So I prepped it to do later. But this, then I created this one and I cannot wait to show you guys. And after I colored everything, I ran it through the embossing folder to, just to give it a little bit of a 3D. Okay, so there's all that. Let's bring in everything you're going to need. I don't want to knock my little um, box over because everything is in there. So this is our thick basic white and it measures um, five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. I have a piece of crushed curry. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of basic white that is three and three fourths by five. 
So remember how I said in the beginning that I am a labeling queen lately? Well, I want to bring these in. Hold on, I got to put them all on my fingers so I can show you. And there's kind of a little funny, um, when I put these on my fingers to bring them in for my live table, I put them on my hands like this and it reminded me, my dad used to put black olives on the ends of the girl's fingers and his and they would have little fights with them. And just something cute they would do. And it, I don't know why it reminded me of it, but it did. But I took our little sponge daubers and I put labels on each one of them. So I knew what sponge dauber went with what colors. So these are our sponges. And I brought in the crushed curry and the lemon lolly reinkers. Because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those um, instead of using our ink pads. So let's start with, we're going to need one, two, three. So we're going to need all four of these. I'm going to go ahead and start with the sunflower itself. So they have little notches up here in the corner where you can line it up to make sure it's nice and even. I didn't use those on here. It was really easy to line up. So I am just going to put that down. And I'm going to bring in my block and I'm going to grab some of my reinker. So this is the lemon lolly. I'm going to put a couple dabs of lemon lolly there. And then I'm going to come in and put a couple dabs or drops or however you want to call them of the crushed curry on the other side. So I'm going to take my lemon lolly sponge and I'm just going to soak this up, but I want to kind of get it where it's not super bright. So I'm just gonna go around the block a little bit to get some of the excess off. And then I'm gonna hold my mask down and I'm just going to circle around the center. You can do these in any color you want. I actually um, went on Google because Google is God and everything on Google is correct, right? And I put in sunflower colors and literally so many of them, different colors popped up. So that's what gave me the idea for my other card. So now I'm going to take the crushed curry and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to soak that up, but then I'm going to just dab it around and you can reuse this as well. So I'm just going to dab some off and I'm going to come in and I'm going to go over the lemon lolly. And I want this super dark. That's why I'm not using my ink pads or the brushes. I want this so bright and so cheery and so perfect. So I am going pretty full strength. Actually, I don't think you can get much more full strength than this. Okay, so now I have colored all of my pieces. And if you want anything darker, you can. Now I will give you a little tidbit. If you're gonna be making more than one of these at a time, you do wanna wipe this off with a baby wipe or a paper towel or something, because once you go back through with the lemon lolly, you could pull up some of the crushed curry that is on this plastic, and it could kind of cross contaminate and make this a little bit um, darker than what you want. So make sure that you're wiping this off if you're gonna be doing more than one. But here is what it looks like so far. Let me pull it up so you guys can see it. Isn't that so fun? And I've seen a lot of people fussy cut these out as well. Okay, so let's start with, we are going to do the inside portion. And that one, I am not going to use um, the reinkers because I want this to be light. So I am gonna grab my crumb cake and grab my crumb cake dauber and because I tapped it it is going to be a little darker so just gently kind of swirl and then once you see how the color is you can go a little bit harder you just don't want it to be super overpowering and I didn't re-ink this doing all three of them I just did them all in one so there's that guy. Let me close this so I don't accidentally dab it in the wrong one. I have my pecan pie. And that one is going to be 
this guy. So I'm going to set this on. You see how easy it is to line it up? Like, really, it is not tragic. Grab your pecan pie dauber. And this one, I am going to go a little bit darker, a little bit harder with my pressure. And I am going to go ahead and re-ink in between because I want this to be nice, bright, and bold. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to close this up. Are you guys ready to see this so far? Ha ha ha. Isn't it magical? It is so phenomenal. Okay. I should have brought a piece of paper over, but I didn't. So I am going to now line up my leaves and I'm doing this. I put something underneath just because I don't want to get ink on my workstation. So I'm going to grab the old olive and your leaves will hang off a little bit, which is totally fine. And I want these guys nice and bright too. So I am dabbing it for each one. <laughs> Tracy, you still put olives on your fingers. That's hilarious. My dad used to do that with the girls when they were little. And I don't know if they still remember it, but I totally remember them doing that. Okay, there it is. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? So fun, so different, and so easy. And you probably can fall out of your chair on this. It is that cool. So I'm going to bring in my embossing machine. And I'm going to have my large plates. I have my embossing folder. Line up my edges. Run this through. There we go. I'm going to set this on the floor really quick just so it doesn't fall off. And even though I loved it just like this with it being embossed, I wanted to add a little bit more. So I'm going to bring in my block that has the ink on it, and I want to sponge the edges. And I am re-inking probably more than you need to, but I want it bright and bold. I don't want to faint sponging on the edge. Okay, so now we can glue this together. And I know um, a lot of the times I get asked how I decide um, what colors I'm using. Um, and I usually start, if I, if I know I'm using ribbon, I usually go to my little ribbon rack see what color ribbon I have, and that will determine the color inks and designs that I do. So I had some Lemon Lolly ribbon in my stash, so that's why we have, lemon, that's why I use the Lemon Lolly in um, the card. And so sorry, I need to run in and grab some dimensionals, or not dimensionals, mini glue dots, and they're under my desk. So let me grab another one. I try not to take things off of my Facebook Live table because then when I need it for my Facebook Live, it's not there. But then I lose things on my desk so frequently that I know exactly where it's at on my Facebook Live table. So I probably shouldn't do that. Actually, I'm going to push that up just a smidgen. I just want that up just a hair more. There we go. Trim off the edge. We're almost done with this, and I will show you the wow factor. And if you were watching on Tuesday's live, you kind of will have an idea. Hopefully, you have an idea of what I am going to be doing. Okay, fold that. Apparently, I did not score this piece. Not quite sure why. Thanks, Darlene. It is so cool. I'm so sad this is the first time I played with it, and this was on my pre-order, so I've had it for a while, and not entirely sure why I just now started to play with it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna bring in the translucent florals is the stamp set and I just want a happy birthday. So I'm going to grab the crushed curry just because it's right beside me and I wanna hurry and get to the other parts. But I wanna finish this card too. I actually need some more birthday cards for my September birthday. So these are going to be going out. So if you haven't gotten your birthday card for September, this will be one of your cards because I've made eight. So I'm gonna tie a quick bow. There we go. <laughs> uh, trim off the edges, grab a mini glue dot. We'll get this going and then we'll move on to the next fun thing I have for you. And three is definitely too much, but I need to hold the ribbon down. There we go. Put the bow on. And I think I used Lemon Lolly on my original sentiment but I don't think it matters. Okay, let me pull all of this out of the way so we can have a clean surface and I will show you what is going to, make sure everybody's sitting down. I don't want anybody to fall out of your chair. Okay, so if you were on my Tuesdays Live, I showed you guys how to do uh, designer series paper, how to make your own designer series paper. So instead of just making one of these absolutely gorgeous cards, why don't you guys make four? So I did different colors. I did Bubble Bath. I did um, Berry Burst, Old Olive, um, Pecan Pie, and uh, Crumb Cake. So I used some of the same colors, but I colored them in our pinks versus the yellows. So really quickly, I am going to chop this up, kind of like I did, actually exactly like I did on Tuesday's Live. So I'm gonna cut it in half at four and a quarter, and I'm gonna cut it in half again at five and a half. And we probably won't put all four of them together because I really don't know what time it is. Um, but now we're going to trim this down to three and three fourths inch. I really like this edge and I like this down here. So we're going to chop these two sides off. So three and three fourths. And this one is going to be at five. So this one will be ready to go. And yes, I already have some of them made. Um, actually, I have four others that I did. They're already made, so I'll bring those in as well. And this is five. There we go. So here's these two at least. So we'll at least put these two together. Now, because I used so many different colors when I was coloring these guys, I went ahead and just did my four by five and a quarter pieces out of the same color combination. So we have the Berry Burst, um, this one can go on the bubble bath, it could go on the pecan pie, or it could go on the old olive. So really, any of these colors will look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to put these on. So did anybody fall out of their chair? It was probably a little dramatic. I might be a smidgen of a dramatic person, but it was super cute. So instead of making one, just do it on a full sheet of our cardstock and you can make four. So let's see, I am going to grab, I didn't have any more um, of our bubble bath ribbon. So I just brought in um, some of our glitter ribbon. I forget the name of it, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. And the original one I put sideways, but this one, I think, I don't know which way it goes. I'm going to put this one to the side. 
and I'll put this one to the side. We're almost done, and then I'll show you the four that I did already. And I'm actually offering this um, mask set free um, with orders. So if you're not on my email list, definitely get on so you can see all of the details on how to get this mask set for free. And, and I would have glued a lot of this together prior to the live, um, but I couldn't because I needed to wrap the ribbon and the paper around. So I promise we're almost done. Let me just glue these down and the sentiments are already done, ready to go. The bows are tied, slap it together, and then I'll show you all of them. I could have sat all day and played with these, but I knew I needed to get some other work done, so I put it. There we go. So here are my two sentiments. Those I was able to pre put together. And it really only needs two. You don't really have to have three. When the ribbon's going the opposite direction, I would put the third one on there um, just to hold the ribbon down. But this one's gonna hold the ribbon down just fine. Oh, hi Peyton, thank you. See, the pink flowers I think are perfect. I love the yellow, but you could do them in all of our purple colors as well. So there we go. So here are the two we just did, but let me bring in the four that I did earlier. So we do have the um, pecan pie ribbon. We have some old olive ribbon. Here is the glimmer shimmer ribbon. And this is the bubble bath that I ran out of. I literally just had enough for this card. So I had to kind of move these around, but they are so fun and so different. I really hope nobody fell out of their chair um, and hopefully I wasn't too dramatic, but look how fun and gorgeous these cards are. They will definitely put a smile on somebody's face if they got this in the mail. So there you go. I know I went super duper quick and fast and I apologize. I talk really fast sometimes, um, but I really wanted to get through all of this in our little 30 minute time span. So thank you so much for joining. Um, if you're not on my email list, there is a link to click. They, all you have to do is enter your email address and I think your first name. I don't even think it asks for your last name. So you can um, get all of the information on how to get this mask set for free. So if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see many of you guys for bingo on Saturday and then everybody else on Tuesday for another live. We'll chat with you soon and have a great evening. Bye-bye.